So we want to actually use this as a mask. And then you can't see it because it's on top, so we're just gonna hide this. And there you go, we have exactly what we want here. Welcome to Blender Frenzy. Let's make sure my mic is working. Yes, okay. So uh, I have just downloaded the 3.1.2 stable version um, with hopefully the bug fixes that uh, we need, especially I want to check to see if the wipe actually works. I'm using the Blender Launcher. I'll put a link to that in the post. It's a great, great program. It allows you to have multiple different versions of Blender at the same time. You can open them and switch back and forth between them. It's awesome. So um, what I want to do is, uh, let's see, do I want to, let's, I guess I'll just open a new one here and add in a color, bring this up and duplicate that. And then we'll change this color to something else. Um, let's just do a blue color and bring these over here. Gonna select this one, shift select this, A to add in a transition wipe. Okay, drum roll. This is the first time I've actually opened Blender 3.1.2. So here we go, is it gonna fit, is it gonna wipe? Oh, it's not gonna work. <laughs> okay, so it was supposed to be fixed in 3.1.1 and it's still, it's still not working. Unless we're missing something, I, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so because it's still not working, that's perfect segue into uh, past Justin, where I'm using 3.1.0, where it broke for the first time, because in 3.0, it, it was working fine. In fact, since we have the Blender launcher, I can just show you that here. Let's go to uh, 3.0.1, let's just launch that, just another instance of this or another instance of Blender with um, the new one. And video editing, we'll do the same exact thing here. I don't, I just, I don't like having this open. Just, there we go. Um, okay, let's add in a color and let's duplicate this. And shift select this, add in a transition and wipe. And this is what it should look like. Very simple. Um, and you can change your default fade or whatever, uh, but then you get change direction in and out, uh, single, double, like this. Uh, blur width, you can change the blur width on that there. Uh, single, so something like that. You can change the angle, so 90 degrees. This is how that would look. Um, you can. You also have iris, or we have clock. So it's it's actually a really powerful transition. Uh, it allows you to do a lot of different things um, really quickly, but it's not working in 3.1.2. We still don't have this working, it just goes straight to that color, the next color, uh, depending on if you have in or out. So if you have out, it goes straight to the next color. If you have in, it stays on that color or image or video, or whatever, until you hit this one and it just, boom, automatically switches. So this is where I cue past Justin, where um, I have a little bit longer hair and I talk about how to create your own wipe transition in the instance of you have here where it's broken. So let's go back to past Justin to ask him to show us how to do that. But I'm actually I'm actually gonna do a hack. We're, we're gonna try this, we're gonna see if this, this works. So let's do a hack. We're gonna add in a color. We're gonna create our own mask. So I'm gonna duplicate this and we wanna, we wanna have it be black and then wipe into white. That means the bottom one needs to be white and the top one needs to be black. And then what we'll do is we'll just animate this uh, sliding. So that way it will do this. And I wanna slide it from the left to the right. So just like you're seeing Blender Frenzy being almost like typed out, that's what I wanna do. So uh, pretty easy. We're just gonna put a keyframe here on the position X 
And then at the very end, we're gonna put a keyframe here. Um, and then we'll do, it's gotta be 1920 because uh, that is uh, all the way off the screen. And then of course, this needs to continue to extend out. So just like that. So that's our wipe. Um, but uh, I don't want this to be hard like this. I want it to be blurry. So uh, what we can do, I'm, this is first time trying this by the way, so I'm gonna, we'll see uh, effect strip and Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this Gaussian blur. Now, since the Gaussian blur contains the whole, whole entire color strip, I can actually go ahead and hide the color strip because that's just more information that's duplicated that information, which I don't want. So we just want to focus on the Gaussian blur. And here is the size X and Y with the Gaussian blur. So I'm just going to take this and just increase that. And you can see what's happening there if I refresh. And it looks like we're going to have to do it pretty well. I'm going to just do 100. All right, there you go. And then you have that being blurred out. And then you have that animation being blurred and a, like a blurred wipe. And this is, this it would be just like adding in this wipe. Did, did I, do I still have this here? Yeah, it would be just like adding in a single wipe um, going either in or out, but then you would change this blur width and then that would cause this um, middle line to be blurred just like this. So you could do that originally in the wipe transition, but for now, if you want to hack it like what we're doing now, this is the way that, that you would do it. Let's just make all of these the same here. Um, let's make them all 15. So um, to do that, I select one of them and then box select the rest of them. On the strip tab, scroll all the way down to time, and then you have duration, so it's 25. But we want these to be 15, so I'm just gonna type in 15 there. And you can see only the active one changed, but then I'm gonna right click, copy to select it, and then they all are now 15, which is the number of frames we chose for the, our wipe. Okay, so I'm going to put these in a meta strip, and then bring this over here. We're going to delete this one, and then I'm probably going to delete this one, but I'm just going to save it for now. And we're going to come over here like this. And then I'm going to drag this and put this here. Okay, I think, I think this is going to work. So we want to actually ha use this as a mask. So let's name this to um, mask wipe. Take this. Go to modifiers, add a mask, make sure that's a strip, and then we'll do our mask wipe. And then you can't see it because it's on top, so we're just going to hide this. And there you go. We have exactly what we want here. Let's just make sure that that is. Oh, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't finish wiping. Oh, that's because we need to change our keyframes. Um, we, we had the keyframes at 25 instead of 15, so I've got to change that. Um, let me just quick bring this up here, and let's go to the dope sheet real quick, uh, and zero to z uh, center in on this. Make sure we're only selected here. Oh, well, it disappeared when I did that. Why? Oh, right, because it's this one. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, this is the one we want. So um, right here. So I'm going to take this last one and then I think it's shift S to snap uh, selection to current frame. Good. So now our animation only lasts 15 seconds instead of 25 seconds. All the way to the end there. And you can see that has a really hard time caching in because Blender is calculating out that out a lot. I'm just going to use my arrow keys to kind of slowly cache this in. Okay, it's still giving me some glitches, so I'm going to refresh, and we're going to do that again. And this is a lot of information. <laughs> and it still, it still doesn't finish here for some reason. I wonder if I bring this... Yeah, okay, so I, I brought that to 14 frames. 
and then that solved the problem. Okay, so there we have it, and there's our, there's our wipe. All right, so thank you, Past Justin. And what you actually just saw was a clip from something that I've recorded recently uh, going through my video editing process, which is something that I am preparing and I'm working on uh, that's going to come out in a little bit of a different format here in the very near future, hopefully uh, sooner than later. It's not gonna be directly on YouTube, but it will be part of something bigger that is coming out. Um, it's not a course, just FYI, uh, but it's something something a little similar. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing behind the scenes, just working on a lot of different things, hopefully uh, coming to a blender frenzy near you. Anyway, I hope the custom wipe thing was helpful. Uh, just a little bit of a hack and a workaround so that you can get past some of the uh, more recent bugs with the VSE. Always trying to be as creative as we can, to work with those while they get those fixed. But that's it for now, and a lot more stuff is coming down the line, so stay tuned and you'll see me in the next one.